the spring. Certainly, it's another day's journey, and I'm glad about it. Amen. I got my main man, Bubba, Amen. here. Bubba and then Bubba Jr. Amen. On the drum. We thank God, and certainly we thank God for my, amen, right and left hand. Amen. Sister Kathy Jackson and amen, Dr. Curry. And look, bit, they are here. So this morning, amen, God is good. And he's good all the time. And I just want to do a verse, amen, before we bring up new generation, amen, this morning. I just want to let you know that, amen, don't forget. I better say it before I forget about it. Next Sunday at 9 o'clock, our service is every second and fourth Sunday, starting at 9 o'clock and hope to be through between 10 and 10, 15. So, but put this on your refrigerator. Tack it on your mind. I read the scripture the other day. It said, put it on the doorpost. Amen. Amen. That we will have service every second and fourth Sunday until I bring you other news. This morning, amen, I want to say that, amen, it's a good thing to praise the Lord. Let us be in prayer for Dr. Calloway. His daughter is sick, and we just ask that you be praying for him, my very best friend. Amen. Thank you for blessing Brother Gurley. Had his anniversary, his installation. It was wonderful. And we thank God for Dr. Simmons who brought the message all the way from Fort Benny, uh, Fort Valley. Amen. So we thank God. This morning, there was a song I asked Dr. Bubba to help me with. I got a mind to do right. Amen. And after that, amen, we're going to sit back and listen to one of the dynamic, amen, five or six sisters called the New Generation. Amen. At this time, I got a mind to do right. Ain't that same keep up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Come on, new generation. Take us to the point.
bless you, new generation. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so very much. Amen. Before we get into the message, amen, I want to let you know that we've been kind of quiet with our AMBA. Amen. But certainly we are trying to move forward. So we have our virtual service on. Amen. Next Saturday. Amen. July 31st. Amen. 10 o'clock. And we'll be, amen, uh, going into breakout. Amen. So we're asking that you please, ma'am, please, sir. Amen. Keep this in mind, those of you uh, that's with us on the AMBA. Amen. We thank God for our first and second vice moderator, Dr. Spann and Dr. Roberts. Amen. Going to ask them to, amen, let their people know and let's keep it moving. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We got news from the spring. And we have our Sunday school, amen, side, amen. The duck update, amen, side. Also, the youth, amen, uh, they, uh, the new Sunday school and weekly meditations, amen. So, amen, the calling post. And don't forget about the fishermen's amends, amen. I do want to let you know that Brother Green want me to remind you that certainly we're getting started. We already got started, 100 men in black. Those of you 100 men, let's do something great this year. You've been marvelous, and we thank God for Amen. Keep us in his spirit. I want to say that as I was sitting, amen, uh, at home, Sister Jackson, and, and, uh, and then uh, last week I was in Florida, and Carver, it was raining so bad that you couldn't hardly see your hand in front of you. I mean, it was some kind of storm. So we're going to ask that, amen, you put yourself together and we look at the message, amen, uh, the storm of life. And certainly, amen, we need to realize there is a storm of life. And we need to get it together to know that if we keep trusting in the Lord with all our hearts, amen, everything going to be all right. We got to realize that the storm of life is coming, amen. The scriptures from the fourth, amen, chapter of Gospels according to Mark 35, it said, And the storm, the same day when the end was come, he said unto them, let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the mother to, they took him, even as he was, in the ship. And there was also with him other little ship. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. Amen. May God bless the reading of these words for the good edification our hearts, our minds, and our soul. The storm of life. And I heard a brother say one time when the storm of life is raging, Lord, stand by me. So in this message this morning, amen, I want to say to all those of you, and I want to thank God I was in the restaurant the other day Young lady came up to me and said, Pastor, I want to thank you, even though I'm not a member of your church, but I've been listening to you, and I really, really enjoyed the message. Amen. She said, you make it so plain that me and my children and everybody else can understand. That really that really made me feel good. If, he, if, if she was trying to make me feel good, she succeeded. In this spiritual storm, the Bible tells us, as I was reading it, uh, they knew that the fierce, amen, the fierce power of such a storm, they knew how helpless they were, amen, in that great storm, amen. Uh, it was a great storm, the great, amen, uh, storm of temperance, amen. It was, it was a storm like never before. Now, Jesus has spoke to the disciples and told them, Let's go over on the other side. One thing I love about the Lord, he never put us in a position, amen, where it would handicap us, amen. And if he do, he's trying to get our attention. 
If he do, it's something that he's trying to show us. If he do, it's something, amen, that we would, amen, come out of it, amen, stronger than we were when we went in because we, 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 we found out that God is powerful in the storm or out of the storm. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. The Bible said that, amen, in the book of Mark, as we read about the terrible storm, the disciple was with Jesus on a boat, and they were crossing over the Sea of Galilee. Now, I thank God I'm privileged, amen, to be on the Sea of Galilee, Brother Curry, and I sung a song on, on that boat. And so I know a little something about Galilee. It's a wide river, amen, right wide, and the water just cold blue. And the Bible said they were on this, amen, boat crossing over, amen, the Sea of Galilee, amen. When the fierce storm came up, the disciples among themselves, amen, they were real afraid. They, they, they didn't know what was going on, so... And, and, and not only was it just disciples, but some of those guys, they were experienced fishermen. They, 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 they weren't just anybody. They knew about the sea. They knew about the boat. They knew about crossing. Amen. But they had never been in such a storm. Now, I don't know about you, but I need to tell you all, amen, uh, and listen to me real good. There were all kinds, Bubba, there's all kinds of storm. You, you got manager storm. Marriage is fun is when the devil try to tell you marriage up. And he'll do anything. He'll, he'll put you in turbulence. and he'll, he'll bring the water in your boat. Amen. If you don't watch out. Then we have, amen, not only marriage is fun, but we have people that get into, amen, drug addict stone. We get caught in, amen, different uh, drugs and different, amen, substance. And we'll find ourselves in it. It's easy to go in, but hard to come out. Lord, help me somebody. And that's that's a storm. And then you got, amen, a, a, a storm that, amen, that, that called, amen, bereavement storm. Amen. When you got a loved one that, amen, that's gone, amen, you never thought about, amen, you, you never saw it, and, amen, coming, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the storm appeared. And so the, uh, the bereavement storm is when we lose a loved one. And there are other storms out there. But my brothers and sisters, this morning, I'm talking about the storm of life. Amen. It a raging. Amen. These brethren realized they was in a storm of life. Well, uh, the Bible lets us know, amen, the fishermen, amen, were afraid for their life. Yes, sir. Not only the fishermen, but all the other brethren, disciples, were afraid. And listen to what they said, uh, brother. Brother, he said, uh, they went and woke the water and said, do you care? And a lot of times when things happen, when we lose our home and when we lose a loved one and when we lose, amen, finance, amen, and stuff, amen, we, we, we do, and I've done it myself. Lord, do you care? Lord, I'm drowning, do you care? Lord, I'm in trouble. Do you care? Lord, my, my wife is acting strange. Amen. Because I don't have much change. Amen. Amen. Do you care? Amen. Amen. Children is acting funny because I won't give her no money. But do you care? Amen. They, they ask the Lord, do you care? And I want to tell you something. You need to realize no matter how strong or how bad the storm is, God always cares. He said, I never leave you. No, but I forsake you. I'll be with you always. Yes, he can. He, he, he can. In the glory, no matter what you're going through, God can. Sometimes I need to tell you, God has sent us through a storm to see what we're working with. Oh, help me somebody. I said God will send us through a storm to see what we're working with. Because we often say, there ain't no weapon formed against me that will prosper. We, are, we, we, we often say, the Lord is with me always. We often say, I don't care what's going on, the Lord going to hold my hand. But when the storm comes, yes, sir, when the storm comes, we start wondering, what is going on? Lord, do you care? Can I give you some information here? Yes, the Lord can. Amen. 
Well, uh, we, uh, the Bible said, somebody might ask the question, were they handpicked by Jesus? And were they his closest friend? Were they close to him? Amen. Amen. We might ask that question. Yes. Amen. Were they obeying Jesus who told them to go over on the other side? In other words, if, if, if Bubba, if you tell your son, 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 now, I, I want you to go to school tomorrow, regardless of rain or shine. Well, Daddy, they say a tornado coming. That's all right. You go on to school. Now, when the tornado come up, amen, he in there and said, now, Daddy told me to come. Amen. If Daddy told you to come, Daddy know he's going to take care of you. Amen. You're going to be all right. Amen. So, my brother and sister, the question was, amen, do, the Lord, did he tell us to come? Yet, he told us to go over on the other side. You may ask, why then were there such a great storm? Amen. Why were they going through so much trouble? If the Lord told them, why? Lord told me to preach. And God knows I call all kind of hell. Amen. Amen. I call it. Amen. But I know he told me to preach. Amen. The Lord might tell told you to buy a house. But that don't mean you ain't going to get behind sometime. Amen. So just because the Lord told you, that don't mean that you're not going to have some ups and downs. I need to say that again, Curry. Just because the Lord gave you an opportunity to amen, go out, amen, and, 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 and take, amen, uh, people's, amen, uh, ministries and tape it and Amen. Video and whatever. That don't mean you're not going to have some breakdown. But I do want you to know God said I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'll be with you always. Even to the end of the world. So the question is did not the Lord send them over on the other side? No one listen to the good. No one is exempt from the storm. Huh? I didn't say it again because I don't think y'all heard me. No one is exempt from the storm of life. You're going to go through the storm. I don't care who you are. Don't care how much money you have. Don't care who your friends are. Don't care what your family history is. you going through the storm. I don't care how much money you got in the bank, how much money you got in your pocket. You're going through the storm. If you're not going through it, you've been through it. If you haven't been through it, you're getting ready to go through it. Amen. You're going through the storm. No one is exempt. From the storm. But just as the disciple who initially, amen, feared the storm, amen, uh, later uh, came, they revered Christ more, so they, amen, they, they, they revered him more, amen. So the storm we face can bring us to a deeper knowledge of God. Now, that sounds strange. Let me break it down. If we go through a storm and the storm tear things up, but it saved us, it lets us know in spite of how bad, or how fierce the storm was, the Lord was still with us. Now, I went down to Dave City, Florida, when the storm hit that one year. I want to see something I saw on the TV and I want to see it for myself. There was a church in that town. You might not believe this, brother and sister. The storm came up, took the whole church out over the chairs and pulpit. Whole church were blown away. But the pulpit was still in place. The chair was still in place. The, the pew was still in play. The carpet was still on the floor. The arm was still in play. The piano and the drum was still in play. God just wanted them to know what he could do. Huh? He could do. He could have torn up. But he just let them know the power that he had. Now, I, I was reading in the Bible, but Pablo, I was reading, it said that uh, the disciples, uh, they were surprised to see that their master had power even over the greatest storm it was. 
they, 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 were, they were surprised. They, they were surprised that he had power. Amen. Even greater than the power of the temporary storm. He had power. They, 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 that's what I'm saying about that, 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 that storm in Day City. Amen. The people, amen. They, they, a lot of folks had lost homes and, and lost cars and all, but everybody was around that church because they couldn't understand if the storm came through and tore up the church and tore up the city, how in the world they left the pew sitting here? How did they leave the organ sitting there? How did they leave the piano, the drum, and the pulpit furniture? Everything was still sitting in place. And I saw it in my eye, rainwater. I was telling them, Sister Jackson, I was down in Dave City, took some stuff down there when the storm hit. And it was a sight that I never forget. The storm had tore up the whole town. I mean, it was tore up. But there was a little small church about the side of Poplar Spring. The church building was gone. The whole roof was gone. The sides were gone. The windows were gone. Everything was gone. But the pulpit, the pews, the carpet on the floor, the wood on the floor, the, the, the bay, all that was still intact. God was trying to let them know, amen, nothing shall be able to separate them from the love of God. Can I get a witness? Nothing. Amen. Can nothing separate from the love of God. He will let them know no matter how bad the storm is, God can protect you if you just hold on to the unchanging hand. Oh yeah, yeah. They were surprised to know that even the wind and the wave obey his voice. The voice of the Son of Man. And they asked each other Amen. Wondering what matter a man is in. I mean, I mean, even the wind, the wind. even the rain yeah. obey him. What kind of man is it? After the temporary season, amen. It brought, amen, the ship to the land. Amen. And the Bible said on the other side of the sea. Amen. From Caponium. Amen. And when they stepped onto the shore, Amen. Jesus, amen. With Jesus, a man came running across, amen, to meet him. All oh, my brothers and sisters, I won't get into this another sermon, but I do want to let you know he got power to do all things but fail. Yeah. Now, as I heard to close, I see that uh, he said, Who is this disciple? Who is this? The disciples pondered, even the wind and the waves obeyed. Yeah. Amen. I mean, I've seen things happen, but I've never seen where man had power over the storm. Amen. Through our trial, we can amen, learn that through our trial, we can learn that no storm is big enough to prevent God from accomplishing his will. Y'all yeah, yeah. didn't hear me, did you? Now let me know, Sister Jackson, we've been trying to build now ever since 98. And folks in the neighborhood and other people, y'all ain't built yet, y'all ain't building. And some of them laugh at us, talk about us. But let me tell you something. If God said it, it'll be done. I might not be, you may not be here, they might not be here, but if God said it, it will be done. So I'm not worried about it. I, I stopped worrying about it. I said, I'm just going to put it in the hand of the Lord and keep on making it. Why we may not understand why God allowed trials to enter our life. We thank him that through them, we can come to know him more. Even the trial that we go through, we can come to know him more. Yes, we can. Amen. We live to serve him because he has Amen. Preserve our life. Let me finish this about the storm. After Jesus was on the ship and the Bible said he was asleep and they went out and asked him did he care. Jesus woke up. Went out and walked. Amen. The creator looked at the creation yeah, yeah, yeah. and told the creation peace be still. Be still. And the wind and the wave drew up and the Bible said it came to a great calm. 
And after they came to a great calm, he looked back at those that he had created, which were the disciples, and said, Oh, ye a little thing. How was it that you didn't believe? My brothers and sisters, we got to believe. No matter how strong the storm is, we got to believe that God can do all things but fail. No matter how strong the wind is, God can work it out. No matter how deep the wind is, God can work it out. I don't care what you're going through, just hold on. God's unchanging hand. The Bible said, when you looked at the storm and told the storm to be quiet, told the sea to stop wind to stop blowing. And uh, when the wind stopped blowing, when the rain stopped falling, uh, the Bible said they call a great storm, uh, a great calm in the brother. Uh, so what I'm trying to tell you this afternoon, uh, this morning, uh, hold on. When the storm of life comes, uh, hold on. Uh, when trouble comes, uh, hold on. Uh, the God's unchanging hand, uh, be able. I guess I'm help you up. He's able. Yes, he's able. Just hold on. No matter what you gotta do. Hold on. When you're crying. Hold on. When your love will leave you. Hold on. When sickness come. Hold on. Hold on. He's able. He's able. Just hold on. When you find yourself in a storm. Oh, I got carried away there for a minute. But I want to let you know, don't quit. Hold on. The God's unchanging hand. He's going to make a way for you. Time is filled. So request question. Oh, Lord. I had none. Well, oh, to stay, oh Lord, you just build your home. Then you turn, turn and hold to God unchanging hand. You just hold to His hand. Yeah, God's unchanging hand. Oh, mm-hmm. 
Mother Doris Brown. Asking that you be in prayer for Bobby, Sister Doris Tolliver. Amen. Brother Douglas Robinson's son had to have a leg amputated. We're asking that you be in prayer for him, that he be strong. I understand he went home. And we thank God for sending him home. Amen. We're praying for, amen, sister. Amen. Is that Simba? Simba. Amen. Amen. Her daughter. Amen. The mother of Carrie. Amen. Swapshaw. Amen. Asking that you be in prayer for her. And sister Gladys, Gladys Brigham. Amen. The death of her brother. We're asking that you please, ma'am, please, sir. Pray for my little grandson. Amen. He had bad ear infection, but he's doing much better. We're getting ready to, amen, give him to the Lord on Sunday. So we're asking that you be in prayer for our family. There are five ways you can give. The question keep asked, Pastor, how can we give? Send it through USP mail. Or uh, you can log in on the website, www.psbcanywood.org, and click on Give. Or you can download Giveify app on your mobile phone. You'll see my picture. Amen. And amen, you can do it that way. You can add it to your bill of pay and it will come through the mail. Or you can insert it in a secured lockbox, slot on the door of our church. Certainly we'll get it that way. But how will you give it? Let's give. Because the Bible says the Lord blesses a cheerful giver. We thank God for all of you today. and We pray that God will continue to bless us. Let us never forget that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord. Don't forget next Sunday, amen, 9 o'clock, we'll be in the parking lot. Amen. We're going to be having another hallelujah good time. I think I'm just going to let it all hang out. Amen. So we pray that God will just bless. Amen. We want to thank the generation been singing. And I want to say to all our other choir, we love you. We thank God for you. If any of you like to sing on a Sunday, give with Brother Bubba, I mean, amen, a couple weeks before so we can put something real good together and uh, we're not just trying to pick out a special choir but what we're doing because of the pandemic we're using one choir because they know the routine and we don't have to go through as much to get everything set up so please ma'am please sir uh, don't take the wrong uh, idea I know how the devil can mess with your mind yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't want him to do that amen but we're in charge of the choir whoever he said going to sing that's who sing I don't have no, I, I do the preaching Amen. Sister Jackson do the finance. Amen. And Brother Curry do the taping. Yeah. Deacon do the devotion. And the choirs, amen, sing under leadership. And Brother Buck, God bless you. So my brother and sister, let's carry that out to the fullest in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Don't forget to be in prayer for Brother Callaway's daughter. Amen. That everything will be all right. Brother Callaway, we love you. And we're praying that everything work to the good. In the name of Jesus Christ. Well, Papa Spring, amen. We find ourselves at the end of another broadcast. At this time, we want to let you know if anybody asks you anything about Papa Spring Baptist Church, tell them the spring is still standing. God bless you. Amen.